Welcome to our channel. Today we are going to discuss the below important topics in the bag house system. Point number 1. What is bag house can velocity? Point number 2. How to calculate the can velocity? Point number 3. Impacts of improper can velocity in a dust collection system. Point number 3a. What happens if the can velocity is high? Point number 3b. What happens if the can velocity is low? First we are going to understand about the can velocity. What is the can velocity in the bag house? Can velocity is the vertical gas velocity throughout the housing, above the hopper level but before reaching the bottom of the bags, upward speed of air moving through a filter housing, divide the gas volumetric flow by the cross-sectional area of the bag house. Please refer to the simple sketch for understanding the can velocity. Can velocity is the vertical gas velocity throughout the housing, above the hopper level but before reaching the bottom of the bags. Next we discuss about, how to calculate the can velocity. Can velocity is equal to volume of the air. Q, is divided by cross-sectional area of bag house chamber. Legends are, Q, Volume of the air in cubic meter per hour. L. Length of the bag house in meter. W. Width of the bag house in meter. Given data, Q. Volume of the air 3804 cubic meters per minute. L. Length of the bag house 12 meter. W. Width of the bag house 4 meter. Can velocity is equal to the volume of the air is divided by the cross-sectional area of the bag house chamber. After the calculation, we are getting the calculation value as 79.25 meters per minute or 1.32 meters per second. Next we know about the impacts of improper can velocity in a dust collection system. First point is what happens if the can velocity is high. The second point is what happens if the can velocity is low. Next we know about, what happens if the can velocity is low. Low can velocity can lower air speed. If left for an extended period of time, dust can begin to accumulate inside your duct work. This buildup of dust can cause a decrease in air flow or suction at your pickup points thereby resulting in an insufficient performing dust collection system. Next we know about, what happens if the can velocity is high. High can velocity can cause higher differential pressure and an increase in cleaning cycles of the pulse jet cleaning system. This can result in filter bag abrasion caused by too much air flow through the dust collector housing and increased energy costs. A dust collection system with a high can velocity may filter as you expect at first, but as time goes on, dust will continue to cover the filter bags. The dust collection system will not be able to drop the dust off the bag, therefore the permeability per bag will decrease, and you will lose air flow. I hope you understand the can velocity in the bag house system. Thank you for watching. Subscribe the channel for more videos.